Alrighty, so I just had someone having issues with uh, installing uh, PyCharm on the Raspberry Pi 3. So I decided I'd go on to my Raspberry Pi 3 here and uh, we'll take a look and see if we cannot get that going here. So just to verify, I'm just going to bring up the pinout on this one here and we're going to see that, yes, I'm on uh, Pi 3, just so you're aware. Alright, so we're just going to bring up our browser here and we're going to go get the PyCharm install. I don't think I have it installed on here already. Nope, so it'll be a clean, fresh install quick uh, video here. I'm just going to try installing it, get it running, uh, just to make sure it is. This is my uh, Raspberry Pi that I use for my 3D printer, um, so that's why it's not on here. And uh, right now all my printer is doing is uh, some folding, uh, doing some stuff there. So let's go to download. As you can see, I am running high on CPU usage here on everything, uh, just because I am doing, uh, I have Boink going on my main desktop here, and uh, yeah, there we go, so, nothing new here we need to worry about. So we want the community version once again here on so we can go to other versions here. We can check that out quickly. But we should be able to just download the 32-bit version through here. I'm just gonna just download the Linux version here. I'll speed this part up. All right, so that just finished. So we're just gonna show it in folder here. And then we're just going to right click and extract it here. And we can go ahead and close our browser. Because right now all the resources are going to go to that unzipping process. So my Raspberry Pi should be up to date as of a couple days ago. There could be more updates to go, but uh, I'm not too worried about them. We should have no problems with installing this, but we'll see if anything does come up. All right, so now we got that guy. We're gonna close this folder here. We're gonna open up our terminal. And then we're going to CD into downloads. Oh. And then we're going to sudo move pycharm that. And we're going to move it to uh, the opt pycharm. Okay. And then we're going to go CD opt ls. And then CD. PyCharm ls cd bin ls forward slash pycharm dot sh And we're going to let it go through its little process here. Okay, I confirm. Click that. Click continue. Uh, no, don't send. Alright, so let's go. Can I make this a little bit smaller? There we go. Uh, let's go. 
Um, next. Um, sure. We can always do this stuff later. Um, yeah, we'll just start using. Enter my password here. Now this is where on the first install right now we shouldn't have under programming the PyCharm, PyCharm icon here. So once this loads up we'll go ahead and get that uh, all installed there. So I assume this Win0 is this window here. Okay, so we're just going to go to configure and then we're going to create desktop entry and create it for all users enter our password again, hit OK okay now if we go here programming now we have PyCharm Community Edition right here now we can close this out. Now we can close this out. And just to let you know, I'm still on the uh, Raspberry Pi 3 here. So I'm just going to go um, pin out again. And I'm just going to scroll to the top there just so you can see. Raspberry Pi 3B. Go to Programming, PyCharm Community Edition. Just so you you see there's no magic here Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead and create a new project. And... So we can adjust all this stuff. I won't I am going to do a, a more in-depth tutorial on PyCharm here soon. Uh, this was just to get it going on the Raspberry Pi 3 uh, just because I know it does work and I just want to make sure all the steps are being followed so make sure you follow along the way I did here. If you're having any issues check out the link in the description below and it'll take you to all the steps that you need to do to get it going. Once again make sure your Raspberry Pi is all updated uh, by using that sudo apt get update and sudo apt get upgrade and uh, you shouldn't have any issues so right now we can do whatever but I'm just gonna go ahead and create this I'm gonna remove it off of this one this was just for testing or I'll leave it on here so I can try some other stuff out uh, later on on the Raspberry Pi 3 just to make sure that it is working um, versus the Raspberry Pi 4. So we're just going to close that guy. It's going to go ahead and it should run all our updates here um, and add uh, anything that it needs to at the beginning. So as you see at the bottom here it is scanning files to index and then it should do an update I do believe. Um, Oh, we can actually open the task window here. Nice. All right. So yeah, we are uh, doing its thing here. It's the first time I've ac actually clicked that. So it is downloading, and now you're going to see what all it's going to be downloading, installing, and checking out on your uh, um, PyCharm. So. 
this might take a while so I'm just gonna let it do its thing here and uh, then we'll just have a quick look at it uh, maybe run a quick uh, hello world uh, and then call it good as you can see here it removed uh, an old version of pip and it now installed the newer version for us so that's kind of cool that it's keeping all our stuff up to date all right so we want um, a new do we want a new Python file? All right, so here we go. So now we can go ahead and just type out our example here. So we're just going to go uh, this prints hello world. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just quickly run this. So print and then our brackets. And then, oh, Jello World. No, we want Hello World. All right. And then we should, in the description below, uh, you will find links to my Twitch account, my Twitter account, my Instagram account, as well as um the post I did on element 14 with all these install instructions for this so make sure to check them out uh, also uh, make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and uh, let me know uh, if you have any comments or questions post them below for me why are you being mean to me And there we go. So it was just being a little mean to me. Um, so run file. We've got the file. And we have our output here of hello world. Um, I don't think... Uh, so it is working. But uh, I'm going to say this part here. We were... Lots of people are having this issue. I'm still working on this guy here. I haven't had time. Lots of projects on the go. Once again, very sorry about that. I'll get to it really soon here. It's on my to-do list. Um, but yeah, so that being said, it does work on the Raspberry Pi 3 here uh, with no issues. Uh, that uh, Just make sure you have everything set up. Uh, if you're having any issues installing it, uh, make sure your system's up to date and you should be good to go. Um, anyways, that's it for me for today. So thanks for watching everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?